Hey TD Superheroes, my name is Alejandro Perez, your psychic, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how the kind of basic face head is going to be working to be auto-rigged in the upcoming tutorial series. So, when we open and run up the tool, it's going to look something like this. I just kind of branded it afterwards with an image. You'll have these buttons where you can create a skeleton. Then the user has to position the skeleton and then you create a rig based off of that. There's a lot of assumed presets and naming conventions right now. So we could actually go into the default section and update them. So if the base head was called whatever the eye is, you select the eye and update it but in our case it's called base head so we'll update it like that and you go through and update all the geometry based that way so that's kind of like the basic setup here and then if we have like joint names whatever you want the joints to be called and things like that i've also been adding a few extra tools afterwards where it's like if certain things exist don't do a specific process. So like if the face joints exist, then it grays out the create face skeleton because the rig already exists. So, and then we have some bonus tools on the assign weights based on default and then the match points fix. So the assign weights based on defaults, we have associated files. So if you upload your paint weights files, it will actually assign them when it runs through the script. And then the fixed point match was an issue that we noticed that when the we were working with the rig occasionally, we deleted to history and basically messed up our base head shape. So if you forgot to save out a separate version and needed to fix it, you can use this match point tool to fix that issue. I think I'm going to include another tool in here that auto export weights, which would be nice for if anybody already had the blend shapes here, but wanted to export them into their own individual OBJ files to run the script from. Although I'm going to develop a few other options for that so that you can apply it directly from within the scene rather than external files. Although it's generally like best practice for a production setting to have them as a external file. So I've been talking about some of the extra tools that I'll be including, and that's because I'm going to be offering this face rig on my Gumroad. The link is down in this description. So if you want to get access to that, you can help support the channel and purchase the auto face rig and I'll be updating things throughout time. It's kind of like the curve tool where it started off pretty kind of basic and then over time I've been adding more and more tools to this. So that's also available on the Gumroad as well. But uh, specifically for this video, I'm going to be including the auto face rig tool to the Gumroad account and like I said over time updating it. So right now let's run through this code and see kind of how it works. So we create a face skeleton and then we position the joints right now for the demonstration. I kind of had it automatically set up to position the points but we could position the joints wherever we want and then it will kind of go through and set up the joints for us once we do the rig but one of the cool things that we did is actually nope I'll have to update that but it's a good idea to include it at one point we had it in the code where the center joints which all of these are center joints you can't move off the center so before I publish it onto the Gumroad account, I'll make sure that it locks this so that way our cent our joints can not be off the center axis. But 
we can position them to be wherever we want. We have them labeled. So like you can see, this is the jaw aim. Then we have the head rig or the head joint. Oh, this is the jaw joint. This is the head joint, the mid neck, and then the base of the neck. So it is set up to go for work for us this way. Okay, and then um, once we got that set up, we can click the Create Rig tool, and it'll go through and set up the whole process for creating our control rig for our face. So we can now control everything right now. This is because the weights weren't applied, and I do have weights already in there, so we can import them. Or we can actually find the file path. Let me actually do that. So so it's this head weights file. It's an XML file. So we can bring up the tool again. And defaults, associated files, scripts, head weights open. There we go. So we have that there and then we can assign weights based off of defaults. So now we have the mouth opening and closing. Everything is working in our character based off of the shapes that we have. And we can like combine. We can do them individually. There we go. So we have a completely working face rig by the end of this tutorial series. Or if you go to the Gumroad and purchase the rig there. For right now, anybody that goes down to the link below for till the new year, basically. So starting January 1st, I'll up the uh, price. But for anybody that is able to get it before New Year's, I will have a special discount price for you guys on the tool. So check out the link in the description if that is something you're interested in. But pretty much everything that we have here is going to be included in the tutorial series to get this basic setup. So if you want to build it from scratch, feel free to go through this tutorial series. All right. So that is what we have right now. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.